Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our 2018 BMW 335D xDrive M Sport. This is the auto saloon car. This car has a huge amount of spec, which we're gonna run through. The car's covered 16,210 miles with full service history. It's due some service items that we're gonna have done next week. So that'll all be done along with a new MOT. So we'll start by having a look round the car and then I'll run through the spec on the car. It's gonna take a little while to go through this one. It's got, uh, like I say, a lot of uh, extras on this car. So the whole car has been detailed and machine polished. A rotary mop is used to take out any little light scratches that you get on cars when you use a sponge to wash them and there's dirt on the car. And then we use another rotary mop which sort of oscillates around so the head moves around at the same time as it's spinning. And what that does is it takes out the finer scratches and the holograms, which is the sort of the reflection of the scratches that you see in the sun and gives it a lovely glossy shine that you can see on the paintwork. Now I've already been around this car a couple of times videoing and made a couple of mistakes. So I'm gonna try and get it right this time. But uh, there's, there's hardly any stone chips on the front of this car. We had a good look round. We've put some nice black gloss uh, grills in the front there. There was a tiny little stone chip I found just, where is it? Let's come round. Don't think I can focus on it. It was tiny. There you go. Bang in the middle of the screen. Will that focus? Just there. Tiny. So really lovely condition. Let's just try and get the focus. There we go. So I've got two detailers. One focuses on the outside of the car and the other gentleman does the inside of the car. So they've both got their, their own specialities and focus on what they're doing to make the cars really nice. And in all fairness, the cars that we buy will come in in very nice condition anyway, but they still get all the same love here. And uh, I think it shows in the end product. We'll just have a look up on the roof. There's no bird dropping stains or, or sort of um, tree sap burning on the paintwork, none of that. All of the paintwork's lovely. All the black gloss on the side's been machine polished. We've got comfort access on this car. Let's drop my paperwork, let's pick that up. So basically, this little rib section here, we put our hand on the, uh, finger on there, it locks. Put your hand in here, unlock. So finger on the top, lock, hand in the handle. Obviously this is the key in my pocket, so it won't do that when anyone else has uh, come up to the car. So this car's got park assist, so it's got self parking. Cameras under the wing mirrors, cameras at the back of the car, you know, the reverse camera. There's also two cameras, one either side in the front bumper. So that gives you the view as you pull out at a junction. I'll just come round to the front and show you that. So that's these ca that camera there. All of the lights have been machine polished, really nice and glossy and clear. Let's just come back out before we go inside the car. So let's take the view up there. So really, really nice spec. So obviously this car's a little bit dearer than some of the others online that don't have anywhere near this amount of spec, but I think this car's for the person that wants all of these extras. And uh, it was over, just over 50,000 pounds new, this car. So, you know, it's really good value for money, especially with just 16,000 miles. And it's a one owner vehicle as well. I might not have mentioned that. So we've got black Dakota leather with a black gloss finisher and br uh, brushed aluminium door handle. Let's just see if we can get a better focus on there. Come in a bit closer. That's the brushed aluminium. Got the Harman Kardon speakers. Got additional speakers around the car, one being up there, just in front of the professional navigation. All of the door cards in beautiful condition, no dig marks. We've got the puddle lighting, all of the seals, lovely and clean. 
I'll show you the leather seats, the black Dakota leather. All in lovely condition. All of the centre brushed aluminium is all nice as well. No scratches up here either. All in lovely condition. We'll take a look in the back. Just point out we've got little LEDs under the handles as well on the BMW. Again, this door card, having already looked round the car, has uh, has no marks on it, no scratches on the door handles, etc. All nice and clean, all the pub lights working. Back of the front seats were in nice condition. Not any scratching there, all of the rear leather. This has got the 60-40 split drop down seats, which is an extra on the saloon. Also got the center armrest that comes out there and drops down. So we'll take a look uh, in the boot. So first of all, just gonna show you along the top of the, uh, there we go, it's gonna focus. Along the top of the back bumper, I just move along nice and slowly. Let's try and get some focus, there we go. No dig marks or scratches you'll see. And no marks down here either. And no scratching on here. And you can see the handles up at the top here and here for the drop down seats. The locking wheel nut is in there, I've already looked. So we'll move on from there. We're going to use the button here, which is going to drop down the tow bar. So with the surround view on this car, because it's got the tow bar, it's actually got um, some guidelines for when you reverse up to a trailer. So I'm going to leave the tow bar out and I'll be able to show you that when we jump inside the car. So there's your tow bar, all at the touch of a button. We'll pop this down. And just point out for those of you who don't know, the X drive is the four wheel drive. It's not a permanent four wheel drive, so better for fuel economy than it's not. But under, uh, under load or on a slippery service, the four wheel drive system will kick in and give you the traction that you need. We've already done this side of the car, memory. <laughs> Sorry, it's like deja vu. I've, I've, I'm on my third attempt, so <laughs> I'm hoping I have done that side. I'm sure I have, but it's all fun, isn't it? The idea is to get a good view of the car, so let's make sure we do that. Right, so back of the front seat on this side, all in lovely condition, no scratches in the leather. Let's take a look at this. Uh, seal as well i think i did find there's a little little tiny scratch there that's been touched in very minor all the door card on this side it's all lovely all up here is all nice have a look on the driver's side we'll just turn those lights on to auto so, this door card, puddle lights, all the rubbers, all the way around, all the seals. Now, I'm gonna start the car at this point because where I've taken so long to get round it, some of the features won't operate. So we press this button, the mirrors will fold in. Now, depending what side we've got this button, when you go into reverse, the left hand uh, mirror will dip for you. You can also fold the mirrors in on the key fob as well by pressing and holding the lock button. And uh, when you unlock the car, they'll automatically fold out. So I'm gonna jump in, shut the door. Right, so down here, we have on the left, anti-collision control, 
and on the right, lane assist. So lane assist will vibrate the steering wheel if you go over the white lines, and the anti-collision, you can set different distances. Uh, I believe on these, they actually will brake for you last minute, but it also alerts you in the car. So that's all very good and safe. The Harman Kardon again up here. So we'll see if we can get into focus the, where was it? So you'll just see, bang in the middle of the screen, can you just see me flicking through the heads up display? It's quite hard to see in here, but you can just see me flicking through the um, radio channels and stuff. So there's your heads up display. And we'll take that back out there. We've also got uh, this side of the screen, speed limiter, cruise control, the different mode button will take you through on the heads up display, or if you turn the heads up display on the black panel display just down here, um, online services, DAB, FM, or if you use the, the phone button, you'll see your pre-dialed numbers come up on the heads up display, but we haven't got the phone connected. And probably worth mentioning at this stage that because I haven't connected the phone, um, Ah, it will show that the car has got Apple CarPlay, but uh, for the pictures, I'll try and link my phone up. So you can see the Apple CarPlay is on the car, and we've got the Wi-Fi hotspot just below it. Okay, so let's go into um, the media over here. You've got all your DAB, FM, music collection is the hard drive. It's an 80 gig hard drive generally on these. And uh, that's some phones that uh, we can take out in a minute. And then we've got the Logic 7 surround sound with the graphic equaliser there. So you can adjust all your sound system. And if we go into, well, let's go map, let's do it from the iDrive wheel. So if it's still in there, is it? Okay, so I've just set the different displays for the views on these two buttons here. So if I press number seven now, it's memorized that that's the view I want. We can also, with these buttons, memorize uh, telephone numbers. If you look at the top of the screen, when I run my finger across, so you can put uh, radio channels in here, um, but they're so easy to search for on the rolling wheel, on the on the uh, steering wheel, that you can use these, these designated ones here to save other things, telephone numbers, etc. You also get uh, an extra USB down here. I'm just going to move my paperwork to the other side. Um, so we've got the USB down there. We've got wireless Bluetooth charging in the armrest, USB and auxiliary. This is also a sliding armrest, so you can get comfortable. You can write on the top of the iDrive wheel. If we go into um, on the left hand side here, destination address input and we've got either voice control or using my finger on the top of that pad I could just write oh. away you can do that to search for music as well and uh, well, let's see if there's any connective drive items in there no so that's come out there my vehicle so this is where you've got all the options that you can play around with on the car lights interior Sport is the white lighting, classic is the orange lighting. So the little lights up here, let's get that in focus. Orange, if I pop it into uh, sport lighting, they change to white. So you can choose whichever color you wish. Just the two on the BMW, not like the Mercedes. We don't need a discotheque inside the car, do we? We've got uh, we've got the heated seats. God, some of the colours that they have inside the car, I just think they look cheap sometimes. But uh, anyway, everyone's open to their own uh, opinion, aren't they? <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> so anyway, we've got the heated steering wheel. If we can get it in focus, there we go. So the steering wheel will warm up. You can keep your bum warm, your hands warm. So probably do a nice trip in the winter in the car. <laughs> right, we've got in here, we've got the uh, books for the car. 
Also, if you go into the menu on here, if you go down to the bottom, the owner's manual in here has everything that's on the car. This car's got like launch control, all sorts of things. Um, there's different animations and stuff to, to guide you through how things work. Um, if you click on cruise control, it'll give you a little video of how cruise it all works. But uh, I won't bore you with all that now. Okay, I think we've run through, so we've got heads up, so, right, cameras. Okay, that's where we're going, cameras next. Right, there's your reverse camera. If you look over to the left here, because it's got the park, assi uh, park assist, yeah. If we click on here, if I go into gear, see the little P that came up on the top of the car there? When you're driving along sort of the, you know, looking for a parking space with your indicator on, you sort of line the car up and then it will engage or you press OK, it'll let you know that it's found a space on this display we're looking at now and um, the car will self-park, it will do the steering. I think even on this, it does the throttle as well. So, you know, it's, it's a very clever system, but uh, not something I can do right now. Right, if I go to the very bottom, this is where I said about the tow bar zoom. So, you can just see the ball of the tow bar at the bottom of the green light. So, basically, if we were gonna be reversing up to a trailer, let's put it in reverse we can literally roll back and guide ourselves onto the ball joint of the tow bar very clever stuff groaning is the painted floor inside the show which we've just done so I'm going to list everything um, this is the other camera view from the uh, front bumper so this is when you're putting out at junctions and that's operated by this button here I'm going to move straight onto the rocker button in front of it, which is the eco. Let's put this into, let's take that out for a second. Let me just clear the screen. There we go. Put it into park, turn that off. There we go. So we have adaptive M suspension. So totally different shock absorbers. So when we are in Eco Pro and Comfort, the shock absorbers will relax. There's a, a valve which allows the fluid, I think it obviously just allows some fluid to the other side of the shock and uh, the shock absorber becomes softer. So it gives you a much more comfortable ride. And then when you go into Sport, it pumps more fluid the other side of the shock absorber and it gives you a firmer ride which will settle the car down on a bouncy road you know when you're driving a little bit more vigorously shall we say uh, if you go into sport plus it turns off part of the traction control we can have sport displays we can also configure oh let's go back one when we use this button whether it does just the drive chain or the drive chain and the chassis or just the chassis so you'll see when i flip from one to the other can you see how it lights up the different components of the car now the truth is all the BMWs have this button and they all light up in the same way. But unless you have the adaptive suspension, it won't change anything. So, you know, if you're after adaptive suspension, make sure they can prove that it's on the spec of the car because sometimes, I think maybe accidentally, maybe, the, uh, they, they, they think it's got it, people, and they, they put it in the other and it hasn't necessarily got it. I'm sure it's a mistake, an honest mistake, but there you go. Right, let's take a look under the uh, bonnet. As I say, there's, there's a lot of spec on the car. I can't remember if I've gone through everything. So please look at the, uh, the spec that we've listed in the video. Uh, sorry, on the advert. I check the spec and make sure that it is correct. All of the engine bay all in lovely condition. 315 PS, which is about 312 brake horsepower thereabouts, give or take. It's a twin power turbo with two turbos. So twin power, I think is dual port. So two inlets into the turbo, makes the, tur uh, makes the car um, more responsive, less turbo lag, 
and uh, you get a better power, power, um, a better punch from the power as well. And you have two turbos so that the smaller turbo spins up early in the lower rev range when there's less pressure coming from the exhaust. And then as you power up on through, the larger turbo will then engage and give you a nice smooth power delivery all the way through. And fantastic economy. I mean, the 335 engine is probably one of the best engines, well, certainly the best engines on the diesel market, that's for certain. Very reliable car, reliable engine, and a superb gearbox. Probably, you know, for those of you who know about this gearbox, it's in several cars, but the BMW have, uh, have now put this in their M cars as well. They've gone back to this gearbox. It's a much smoother transmission. Well, look, thank you very much for being so patient to watch me um, take you around the car in the 20 minutes it's taken me. Like I say, I've actually spent an hour doing this. But uh, yeah, for some reason the video kept stopping. I think I kept putting my thumb on the button. Well, look, we've got lots of different warranty options, finance options. Please give us a call if you'd like to know more about the car and uh, hope to speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.